Yeah, you know, um, it's been good, but it's a progress. You know, it's a work in progress. Just, you know, getting back to learning how we want to practice with the intensity um, that we practice and then just getting ourselves into football shape. You know, I think uh, everyone's in the best shape they could possibly be until that helmet comes on. The humidity sets in, the shoulder pads go on, and we got to continue to push ourselves. You know, that's what training camp is all about. You know, creating an identity for your team. And that physicality standpoint is a mentality. And so we got to keep pushing ourselves, take that next step further. Josh, because Arroyo's been here a year longer in a college weight program, a year longer than Jaleel Skinner, how far is he ahead of Jaleel physically? Does that give him an edge as far as you determining playing time behind Will? Well, Jaleel's a young guy. You know, he's still learning. He's still, you know, one semester on campus. So, you know, the game is still coming at him. You know, he's got to obviously continue to develop his body from a physical standpoint. But, uh, you know, also just taking the steps, learning the offense, you know. And so, you know, for us to, to have old guys ahead of some of our young guys to kind of show them the way. And so, you know, everyone's learning. Um, everyone's facing challenges right now, you know. And the biggest thing is to grind through those challenges. You know, remain coachable, remain humble, uh, and, and continue to work at a high level. And on Arroyo, just thoughts on him. Yeah, you know, Elijah's, uh, Elijah started off camp good, you know, but we got to continue pushing. We need more. There's more left in the tank. Um, I don't think we have one player on offense that's quite where we want them to be yet, you know, and that's, uh, that's a good sign. All right? Because if, uh, if they were where we want them to be right now, we'd go out there and play the game and wouldn't need training camp. So we got to keep coaching these guys, developing these guys, right, and pushing these guys along the way. Coach Gattis, your philosophy on running backs rotation, uh, uh, you know, do you like – one main guy, do you like two that rotate? How about three? What's your, what's your thoughts? Yeah, really the philosophy is the players dictate it, right? So, uh, you know, we want to try to play as many players as possible that can help us contribute to win games. You know, if, if it's two guys we feel comfortable with, then it'll be two guys. If it's four, five guys, you know, um, we're not going to hand out playing time just to hand out playing time to anyone um, just to say we're doing anything by committee. That's it. Offensive line, running back, receivers, tight ends, whatsoever. You know, we will play the best guys that can help us give us a chance to win. And so, you know, we want competition at every position. We want as many guys to show us that we can trust them, believe in them, and they can go out and execute our offense. Sometimes it takes a little while to get in the groove if you're a running back in a game. Yeah, there, there, there's an element to that as a running back. You know, you know, obviously touches, right? Game reps, you know, create real, uh, real um, reactions is obviously develop players. And so, um, you know, that's a um, that's an overall game flow standard. You know, the, each, each game, each opportunity is different as far as how many carries, how many touches. Um, but the, the key is just maximizing what you do with the opportunities that you have. The other thing is we're getting parished today. Uh, we haven't talked to him much at night. Talk about each of them. Parrish, how is he looking? What is he doing well? And night. Yeah, those two guys, I'll say specifically, the last three days, they've practiced at a really, really high level. Um, if I can put a, a highlight on those two guys from an effort standpoint, they're practicing how we want them to practice. And, and I'm not talking about running the ball. I'm talking about doing the little things, running after the ball is thrown down the field, hustling down the field, trying to get blocks. Um, it's easy to, uh, to judge a running back based on what he does with the ball in hand. Um, but the true details and, and true level of execution and effort that we want is getting all of our guys to play without the ball, being able to play at a high level and sustain our style of play that we want. Is there anything that you noticed about, about Rooster and about Don Chaney since they were kind of limited during the spring? Yeah, you know, it's good to see Rooster back out. You know, obviously um, the speed element, you know, seeing uh, his speed in person. Obviously he's a guy that can run. He can do a lot of different things. He's got a lot of flexibility um, as far as what he can do as far as ball in hand type player. Um, so that's also exciting. Uh, you know, Don obviously has been transitioning back in um, since his injury, and now it's just about getting Don comfortable. It's getting Don trusting that, uh, you know, he's completely healthy, uh, getting all the minor aches and pains out of there um, so he can be as confident as possible in his football ability. Coach, same, same type of question with John Campbell and Jalen Rivers since they were mm -hmm. in the spring too. What do you like about what you see them now that they're fully back? Yeah, obviously, you know, those two guys give us something different from a size standpoint that we necessarily, you know, didn't quite have amongst the line uh, in the spring. But, uh, you know, I think Jalen, um, you know, Jalen came back a little bit earlier than John did. And, and you know, you're seeing Jalen, you know, his flexibility along the offensive line. He's a guy that can play really all five positions. And so he's kind of that Swiss Army knife up front is being able to move around. And with the depth that we have, we're asking guys right now to be a little bit unselfish and play multiple positions. Um, John has obviously been playing a left tackle position. And now it's just getting him caught up with the, with the uh, speed of the game. You know, now he's getting a chance to be healthy, be confident in, in, his, uh, in his lower body, but also getting a chance to go against some really good defensive ends. And I think when you see the type of additions that we've added on defense with Mitchell Agude and, and um, you know, some of the guys up front from a defensive end standpoint, you know, we're getting some good on good, some, 
some uh, iron sharpening iron work out there against our defensive line. With Zion, more out, Coach with Zion out, is that basically the big difference? Guys are having to rotate kind of a lot in these. Well, right now we're still trying to figure out what's our best five. You know, I think it's a combination of maybe Zion being out and also adding two more new guys that we didn't have in the spring. And so, you know, hopefully over these first two weeks of camp, you know, we get it solidified and figuring out what's the best five because then we want to move forward with a chemistry standpoint, making sure we're all along the lines of communication and technique. Last question. what does he okay. add to the offense? You know, Romelo's a smart guy. He's a smart football player. Um, he has the ability to play all over the field as far as receiver force, but he's another guy that didn't play in the spring. So, you know, he's got a lot of catching up to do. He did a good job learning the offense. Now it's about going out there, being comfortable uh, and executing at a high level. Kobe Young um, obviously came in late, but Chris Paul said he looked good and physically. Uh, what are your thoughts on him early? And yeah, I think Kobe's getting adjusted, you know, to the, to, you know, the way we do things. And, and so I think Kobe's probably um, – you know, probably had to come the furthest because, you know, he showed up in the middle of summer, so he didn't get a chance to have a spring or know what type of practice we have. Every day is a new day for him. Uh, and so he's continually learning. Um, and then also he's getting adjusted to this heat, right, the South Florida heat. And so that's been a big thing with him. But we got to continue, you know, bringing him along. He's got a lot of work to make up, obviously, coming in at the time frame that he did. But we're looking forward to bringing him along the way. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.